Hi, I'm Brian Parks from Belimo Technical Support, and I'm here in Danbury, Connecticut at Belimo headquarters. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the Belimo Zone Tight Zone Valve and how to remove the actuator from the valve body. I've got a couple samples here. I've got a three quarter inch sweat. I've got a three quarter inch NPT. I've got a three quarter inch three way valve, and I've got the Belimo PIQCV, which is the same actuator, but in a pressure independent valve. All right, so first thing, very simple to take apart the zone valve. You don't need any tools, you don't need wrenches or screwdrivers, and you don't need to twist or turn. We don't want to break off the pins that are holding the valve uh, to the actuator. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the valve body in one hand, I'm going to grab the actuator in another one, I pull straight up and away. If this is already installed in a piping system, it's much easier. In this example here, I'm just holding it out in the open. I'm going to put it back together and you hear that click. That means it's gone back together correctly. You shouldn't have to force it. You shouldn't have to do any twisting or turning. It should go right back together. Now, I'm telling you you shouldn't turn or twist it, but let me show you uh, an example of what could happen on a job site. Pipe fitters come in. They separate the actuator from the ball valve. When we separated this, the ball valve is in the closed position. The actuator is in 100% closed position. But the pipe fitters come in. They want to pressure test the system. They put some water in. So they come along. They open up the ball valve. You can tell the location of the ball because on the top of the, the shaft here, there's a small line cut in the top. That should always be in line with the hole that's inside the ball. So in this case, it's in line with the piping and the valve. It's open. So you come back a couple of weeks later, you're ready to commission the system, you're ready to test it. So you go to put your actuator back on and it no longer matches up. So there's two ways that you could take care of this. You have a screwdriver or a wrench. You take, you put it in and you turn it. Now the actuator will go right back on. If you come to the job site and you don't want to use a screwdriver or a wrench, what you can do, I go to place the actuator on, it won't go. Very gently, I'm going to hold a very small amount of pressure up against the valve body and the stem, and I'm going to begin to rotate the actuator very gently. And when I get to the point that the actuator is lined up with the shaft, it's just going to move a tiny bit, maybe an eighth of an inch. Now I've got a hold of the stem with the actuator. I rotate it very gently. The two pins line up with the two holes, snaps together. I'd like to show you something else about the zone tight actuator, and it has to do with setting the flow of the actuator based on this clip setting here. If I take a look at the actuator, you'll see that it's numbered from one to six and the letter N. Those numbers correspond to a flow based on the valve size. If I've got a three quarter inch, they meet a particular flow. If I've got a half inch valve, they have a particular flow. In order to set this, you can go to the Belimo website, www.belimo.us, and if you put in the search for the zone tight zone valve, you'll find the table. It's gonna give you flow in CV. So if I'm putting this on a VAV box and it calls for a half a gallon per minute flow, what I can do is I look at the table. It tells me, because this is gonna be on a three quarter inch valve, I need number one for the clip setting. Very easily, I clip it on. You would look at this table, and in this instance here, we need a CV of 0.5. I wanna point something out here uh, before I go any further. This little black arm that's on here is really an indicator arm. What that's showing me is if the actuator is open or closed, it's gonna show me the location of where the ball is on the valve. This is not a manual override arm. You can't push this and bypass the valve. If you do, you'll probably break it off. The only way to move the actuator is you gotta put some power to it. All right, now I'm ready to go. I've got my clip in the right setting. I've got power to the actuator. Because I've moved the clip and I've changed what the valve considers full open or full close, with power to the actuator, I'm gonna take something, push down in this hole. There's a small button in there. I'm gonna hold it for about three seconds. I'm gonna let it go. The valve will go through a 
full cycle from closed to full open and it'll go back to closed, whatever the starting position was. The reason is the actuator has to know for its memory what, we, what it considers to be full open or full closed. Now, if you're on an application where you don't need to use it as a control valve and where maybe you're just using it for on off and you just need uh, an open closed valve, you can take this clip off and you could discard it. That'll give you a full flow for the ball valve and uh, you don't have to worry about the numbers 1 through 6 or the letter N. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you have any questions, if you didn't understand something in the video, or if you have questions about any Belimo products, please call Belimo Technical Support at 1-800-543-9038. Technical Support is open Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You could also visit the Belimo website at www.belimo.us and you can find information on all of our products there. Please be sure to like this video and please be sure to follow the Belimo YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.